Okay, guys. Now in this video, let's discuss about the sensory nervous system. Okay, let's begin with the sensory nervous system. Now in the central nervous system, we have seen the introduction part. Now let's discuss about the sensory nervous system. Now here, the senses are mainly classified into. In the sensory nervous system, like what exactly is happening? The senses are now conveyed. The senses are now getting conveyed from the periphery to the central nervous system. Now, first of all, what are the senses? How many different types of senses are there? There are two types of senses, which are general sensations and special sensations. General sensation include what? General sensations include touch, pain, temperature, pressure. Okay, these are the general sensations. Why I'm calling them as general sensations is because see, these sensations can be elicited from any part of the body. Okay, you can feel touch, pain, temperature, pressure from head, neck, upper limbs, lower limbs, foot. So you can feel these sensations from every part of the body. Okay, so they are not localized to one specific location. So they can be elicited from any part of the body. You can feel touch, pain, temperature from the tongue. You can feel touch, pain, temperature from the hand. You can feel touch, pain, temperature from the back of your body. From anywhere you can feel them. Okay, and also the receptors for these sensations, for general sensations are localized in the skin. Okay, at the level of skin, the receptors for the general sensations are localized in the skin. Now, if I talk about the special sensations, special sensations include what? The five important special sen sensations like hearing, olfaction, vision, okay. So, taste, olfaction, vision, hearing, balance, hearing and balance. So, these are the special sensations, okay. These are the special sensations. Now, the receptors of special sensations are not localized around the skin. They are localized, they are present in the special organs. For example, the receptor of taste is taste buds. Taste buds are present on the tongue. The receptor of olfaction are present in the olfactory epithelium in the nose. Okay, the receptors of the vision, rods and, rods and cones, which are present in the retina of the eye. Hearing, hearing has a receptor which are called as the inner hair cells present inside the cochlea, organ of cot eye. Okay, now balance, balance have its receptors. That's, uh, that's a macula and cristae ampullaris. They are present in the semicircular canals. Okay, so the receptors of these special sensations are localized in specialized organs. Okay, they are not present in the skin. Now, after discussing, let's discuss about the order of neurons now. Okay, this is the, these are the introductory videos, the order of neurons. See, first order neuron is there, second order neuron, third order neuron. So, what is the difference between this first order, second order and third order neurons? Now, see, the first order neurons are going to start from the level of a receptor and they will go till spinal cord. So, first order neurons, they will start from the receptor, they are attached to the receptor and the information is now coming to the spinal cord. So, from the receptor, the first order neuron extends up till spinal cord. Okay. Now, the second order neurons, the second order neurons, they will start within the spinal cord and they will end in the thalamus. Third order neurons, they are going to start from the thalamus and they will end in the cortex. They will end in the cortex. Now, let's look the same thing in this image. Now, see, this is the first order neuron. The first order neuron, it's a, it's a pseudo unipolar neuron. See, the first order neuron is going to start from where? It's going to start from the receptor level. Okay. Now, the first order neuron, whenever it's stimulated, now what, the, what will happen? See, now this first order neuron is stimulated. The first order neuron cell body is present in the dorsal root ganglion. Now, these first order neurons, where they are coming, all the sensations are coming to the dorsal horn. So, the first order neuron, it's ending in the spinal cord. It's ending in the spinal cord in the dorsal horn. Now, from here, the second order neuron is going to start. Now, the second order neuron have started from the spinal cord. See, now the second order neuron is crossing to the opposite side. It's crossing to the opposite side in the spinal cord. Okay. Now, see the axon. Where it is traveling? See, now here the second order neuron axon is traveling in the lateral column. Okay. It can either travel in the anterior column or it can either travel in the lateral column also. Okay. See, now this is the second order neuron which is taking the information to the thalamus okay the second order neuron is ending where the second order neuron is ending in the thalamus now the second order neuron is ascending up in the spinal cord it is going through the medulla it is going through the pons it is going through the midbrain and the second order neuron is coming to the thalamus 
so can i call this axon as an ascending tract or i can i call this group of axons group of axons which are traveling up like this can i call them as ascending tracts yes so ascending tracts are nothing but see the second order neurons are traveling in the spinal cord as ascending tracts okay now the second order neurons are going to terminate in the thalamus okay now from the thalamus who is going to start now from the thalamus the third order neurons are st starting and they will take the information to the cortex they will take the information to the cortex that's a somatosensory cortex the information is now going to the sensory cortex okay sensory cortex after this now let's divide the ascending tracts into two types okay i have explain see okay just uh, try to understand like this sir these ascending tracks what they are doing they are taking the information they are taking the sensation to the brain now how many types of sensations are there the types of sensations previously we have classified are the general sensations general sensations and special sensations now first let's discuss about the general sensation general sensation touch pain temperature like this not that's a one type of classification here what i am discussing here is again one more time okay the type of classification which i am going to discuss right now is a different type of classification where the sensations are classified into advanced sensations and primitive sensations touch pain temperature pressure these are primitive sensations even these sensations are present a uh, million years back the million years back whatever the organisms which are roaming the earth even those organisms will also have touch pain temperature pressure sensations but there are certain advanced sensations advanced sensations are not like they are not the special sensations special sensations are different advanced sensations include fine touch proprioception two point discrimination stereognosis they are the advanced sensations advanced sensations are carried by dorsal column tracts okay see here this is the dorsal column right the advanced sensation will go via the dorsal column okay later we will discuss okay how exactly the dorsal column pathways are taking the advanced sensation but right now what i am saying is so the dorsal column tracks the tracks which are going to start from here which will go here in this area they will carry the advanced sensations dorsal column tracks are advanced tracks the anterior lateral tracks the other type is the anterior lateral tracts for example here see now what it is doing it is traveling in the lateral column you can also have the tract going through the anterior column so anterior column ascending tracts and lateral column ascending tracts together called as anterior lateral column why i am calling them as anterior lateral column why because both anterior spinothalamic tract means from the spinal cord to the thalamus or ascending tract anterolateral spinothalamic tract will carry primitive sensations like touch pain temperature pressure dorsal column tracts will carry advanced sensations like fine touch proprioception two point discrimination stereognosis okay so in this slide or in this video we have discussed about the classification of sensations we have discussed about the order of neurons first order neuron second order neuron and third order neuron and also we have seen the classification of ascending tracts the ascending tracts are mainly classified into dorsal column tracts and anterolateral tracts dorsal column tracts carry advanced sensations anterolateral tracts carry primitive sensations okay hope the video is helpful thank you